repetitive typing and constant mistakes while constructing text is a hassle. You lose a lot of time in doing this and requires a lot of attention. This is where I would like to introduce a new AI tool that will solve this and it's called TextBlaze. It's an easy to use template with endless customization and powerful automation. Create smart text expansions to get more things done and streamlines your whole workflow. This way you save hours and avoid mistakes by eliminating repetition by using customizable templates. For example, take a look at this text place function being integrated in live chat, Gmail, as well as through LinkedIn. You simply start off by writing in your present command with a slash, and it basically autofills and automates the text input. It's powered by ChatGPT, which helps you manage your prompts, summarize text, translate, analyze data, and so much more. Throughout today's video, we'll be exploring TextBlaze further by going more in depth on its capabilities, as well as showcasing how you can actually install it. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at TextBlaze, which is a powerful and easy to use text expansion application that is powered by ChatGPT. It works really well with Google Chrome, and it's something that I'm gonna be showcasing as to how you can install it locally and set up your own commands so it helps you with your own text expansion. This will save you so much more time and it will improve your efficiency. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at TextBlaze, which is a powerful and easy to use text expansion application that is powered by ChatGPT. It works really well with Google Chrome, and it's something that I'm going to be showcasing as to how you can install it locally and set up your own commands so it helps you with your own text expansion. This will save you so much more time and it will improve your efficiency. So let's actually take a look at an example as to how this basically works. We can see that there is a three step process as to making this a really good text expansion tool within Chrome. It first begins by preserving a piece of text as a template within TextBlaze and you're able to assign it a shortcut. Now this gives you a lot of flexibility to choose shortcuts that come naturally to you. For instance, you can opt for slash thank you and it represents the common thank you expansion, which you can put in the snippet. Step two focuses on your shortcuts and you can basically use them quickly and insert them in corresponding text whenever or wherever you're working in Chrome. You can do this with Gmail, Google Docs, LinkedIn, Salesforce, or where else you might require it. Now, now in terms of the last step, you're able to basically share and collaborate based off the snippets and templates that you create. You're able to also access other people's templates in which you can deploy off of Chrome, which is something that we'll take a look at later on in the video. Another remarkable feature of TextBlaze is a dynamic template. With TextBlaze's dynamic templates, you can harness the power of forms, dynamic formulas, and smooth integrations with other websites. This allows you to simplify your daily tasks by reducing the necessity to handle various tools and in turn, improving your workflow efficiency. Just take a look at this example on the right. You're able to easily streamline your name being inputted within different emails. Uh, you're able to do this with a command that can easily set up a preset that you have set beforehand. Now, these are some of the things that I'm going to be teaching you as to how you can create and set up off of Chrome as well as through the TextBlaze dashboard. So definitely stay tuned and let's get to the next step where I showcase how you can actually install this. On the Google Chrome Start, you can basically just search up TextBlaze, templates and snippets and it should be a verified user. You can easily just click add to Chrome and once you have done that, you'll be able to install the Chrome extension. If you are interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access free subscriptions to AI tools, networking opportunities, and so much more, definitely take a look at the Patreon link. Definitely follow World of AI on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Once you have finished installing the Chrome extension, go to the TextBlaze site, create an account. It's fairly easy. You can do this with Google or you can sign up with your own email. 
Now, once you have done that, you can then go on to the dashboard and this is where we're going to start configurating all the commands so that we can integrate it to our email, LinkedIn, or any other website that we want to easily like integrate this TextBlaze application into. Once you arrive on the dashboard, you can see this is where you're going to be creating all your snippets. Now, this is something that you can do fairly easily by typing over here. Your shortcuts will then be inserting snippets and you're going to be able to input these snippets in different areas. Now, on the left hand side, you're able to manage all of them. You can name it whatever you want and you can have the shortcut whatever you want. So in this case, you can basically do the following example. Thank you could be the shortcut name and you can have it so that when you whenever you type thank you, it will then type in this text which we can write thank you so much. So then once this is done, you're able to save this and whenever you basically type in any sort of text document, you can just simply type in thank you and you're going to be able to get this output. Thank you so much. Isn't that amazing? Now on the left hand side, we can see that there are many different samples of demos. In this case, we had just created a demo with plain text, which allows you to type in SIG and it will output this text over here. You can also do style text, which allows you to contain bold messages, underlined and colors. So in this case, you can basically just have uh, type in style, which is the shortcut that you can type in anywhere on different websites and you'll be able to output different style commands. Now this allows you with a lot more flexibility and customization whenever you're typing certain things. Take a look at the times and date demo. In this case, they have made it so that you're able to type in the current date from a single slash command. Now, in this case, we're just going to quickly try it out after we read this. You can see that TextBlaze can insert the current date. Today's date is uh, October 31st. So in this case, I'm going to try it out and see if it can type this up. So I'm going to type in D8. And if we scroll up to the start of the paragraph, we can see that the date is October 31st. Now, in this case, you can customize it in different formats. So you can have it so that it only shows the month and the number date. And or you can have it so that it doesn't show any words and just shows numeric values. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see in this example that they stated that you can also insert a date rel relative to the present. In two weeks, it will be this date. And we can see that exact example over here where we type this command slash. And we can see in two weeks, the date will be November 14th. And in one month, it will be November 30th. Now, this is absolutely amazing and it's a game changer for anyone who doesn't have a lot of time when they're typing such emails. It's a really efficient and effective way for you to write emails, construct different paragraphs and so much more. Another feature is the cursor feature. You can basically place the mouse cursor anywhere in a snippet after insertion. Now, another one is the form feature, and this is quite straightforward. You can have it so that your name is autofilled as well as other values, names, date, price, and such forward. This will streamline emails so much better, and you can easily do this by the basic commands on the right hand side. We can see that there's many different commands. You have the date, clipboard, as well as place cursor feature, which are some of the basic commands that are there. You have a form feature, which involves auto filling your name, quantity, price. You can do this with text fields, paragraph fields, drop down menus, toggle field, as well as date field. These are some of the things that we'll definitely take a look at later on in the video as we construct our own snippets. Now we can see that there is also an autopilot feature. Now the, this is where you can basically construct different elements from a single slash. You're able to have it so that it can create and stimulate different types of content at large. Now, this is something that will require us to showcase a little bit more demos in as we go later out later into the video. We have dynamic logs, which focuses on formulas. You can repeat certain things. It shows errors. And with data blaze, you're also able to read different types of tables, which is absolutely amazing. Now, these are just some of the list of commands that you can do. This is something that you can put all together into one single snippet that will streamline your emails workflows so much easier. 
now there is a better documentation as to what like that describes this way better than i do because it just has a lot more information on each and every aspect of text plays so if you're interested in this definitely take a look at this link in the description below so that you can easily get some more knowledge on what you can do with each and every feature now let's move on to the ai aspect of this tool and this is where things get a little bit more interesting you're able to have snippets that are able to create content with ai it's also able to polish your content with ai by solving the grammar and making it sound a little bit better in a way we can see over here from this example that use ai to create text based on your prompt and the page content and in this case respond to the email using a friendly and informal tone hey jane thanks for the email and you can uh, end your work on etc and in this case you're able to try this example right now over here now one thing i want to mention is that you're able to implement other extensions as well as other apis within textplays this will open up a lot more customization with text plays as you're generating different content within different workflows. In this case, you're able to implement the open AI command pack, which allows you to use ChatGPT. It's fairly easy. It helps you generate text and you can do this by simply just activating the pack. Now, this communicates with API of open AI. So you will need to input your API key over here. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. So I inputted my key and I activated it. And we can see that open AI command pack is activated. You can insert commands using the command sidebar to the right of the snippet editor. And they give you a good description as to different commands. You can have different commands over here that you can basically input and they give you good examples as to how you can do this. Now, this is just one way of bringing ChatGPT anywhere. You can bring it anywhere within TextBlaze so that it can auto generate different types of text, give you the best relevant answer, as well as auto filling certain things with AI. Now, they also have a good documentation as the GPT prompt templates that you can implement anywhere. In certain cases, you can have it so that it can correct typos and grammar with GPT. So for the people who use Grammarly, you don't actually need to use that as you can just use TextBlaze and integrate ChatGPT within it so that it reduces the subscription costs for using another software like Grammarly. You're also able to summarize any text with GPT, have personalized links in connection with whatever you're trying to input with snippets, have a prompt library for GPT prompts, which is something that is absolutely amazing. You can definitely take out a time to read this out as if you're interested in creating a chat gpt prompt library within textblaze you can easily do so with the documentation you're also able to translate text with chat gpt analyze data as well as formatting different gpt prompts now this is just the top of the crop there's so much to this so if you're interested in this i'll leave all these links in the description below now to access more command packs you can basically just scroll down on the search scroll on the right side go all the way to the bottom and you can see command packs you can see that we added open ai but you're able to open up with other different packs you're able to integrate gmail linkedin uh you're able to utilize capitalize and randomize now these are all different ranges of commands that you can integrate in this case you can streamline different emails with gmail you're able to integrate the linkedin command pack which will help you speed up your work within linkedin now these are just many different ranges of commands obviously you can just utilize the same packs that are available but this gives you a lot more flexibility now back to the ai snippet you're able to do so much with this polished text and have ai text written so in this case we can have it so that we can summarize whatever is written with ai so i'm going to quickly formulate something and i'll be right back so i ended up just using this example where i wrote response to the email using a friendly and informal tone and this is the response of the email thread we can see over here hi ai i fixed the bug with two plus two equals five please try it again and kevin then responds to this email stating hey the fix does not work for me please suggest any debugging steps so in this case you can just simply auto complete and respond to this email in the friendly tone by typing in just ai lastly i want to just talk about the open ai command pack now if you are to click on it you're able to generate different ranges of text now in this case 
uh, you can have it so that ChatGPT's language model can help formulate and generate different emails, different text, content, and so much more. So in this case, I'm going to just have it simply answer different emails for client payments. So I'm going to say write an email to client to a client asking for payment. Now you can format it in different ways, have it in text format, format in a paragraph. In this case, I'm not going to have any sort of, this is just an optional way for you to display the generation, state the variables. You can add different parameters and just click insert. Now for this case, I have created a shortcut that is slash AI. And every time I do slash AI, it will then create an email that is going to ask for clients or for payment from clients. In this case, it does this fairly easily and it did it very fast. It created all the terms as well as when I want the payment to be done. Now, just think about this. Say if you're a very, very busy renter and you basically have a lot of units that are being rented out to your clients. Now, if you are trying to collect payments, you can easily do this by just simply using the slash AI command, creating the email with ChatGPT and have it sent out to all the different renters. Now, this is an easy way for you to send out these emails. Uh, you don't need to send it out individually. You can just simply do a slash AI and it'll create this email with the name, Kate, that you want. And you can basically have it so that each snippet has each like uh, snippet or sorry, not snippet, but these each basic commands are inputted into your overall snippet so that when you press slash AI, it will then create the date that you want the payment to be done by as well as the relevance for the payment style, how much it is, and such forward. There's a lot of customizable features in this, and that's what makes TextBlaze super useful and beneficial for anyone. You can practically do everything that we talked about on the extension. In this case, you're able to create these new snippets, have it so that you can edit it and insert it in different ways. These are just previews of what you can do. And this is just an easy way for you to have it exported to whatever workflow that you're trying to work upon. And that basically concludes today's video on TextBlaze, guys. I hope you found this video to be very beneficial. I will leave all the links in the description below so that you can access this fairly easily. But in summary, this is a powerful and user-friendly text expansion application using AI. I hope you found this video to be very useful. Definitely check out the actual consulting page if you want to book a consulting with me uh, if you guys haven't checked out the patreon page i highly recommend that you do so so that you can access our private discord lastly make sure you follow world of ai on twitter and the youtube page so that you can access the best ai content that is out there and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas